Hello guys, I'm Nishan. Welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about Redmi K20, Redmi K20 Pro, the Redmi Book 14 which is a laptop launched by Xiaomi and also the Redmi 7A. We'll also talk about whether the Redmi K20 Pro is going to be the Poco F2 or will there be a separate Poco F2? Even I don't know for sure but we'll discuss about that as well in this video. Without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the Redmi K20. I am a little bit of an old school guy so I have written down everything and uh, let's get started. Redmi K20 comes with a Snapdragon 730 processor and this is a device which will for sure come to India because Manukumar Jain was teasing about a new Snapdragon 700 series processor coming to India pretty soon and that's most probably going to be the Redmi K20 not the Pro variant maybe as Redmi K20 or maybe as Mi A3 that's possible as well because there was a leak few months back that a new Xiaomi Android one device with in-display fingerprint sensor is going to come with a Snapdragon 700 series processor so that can be K20 let's talk about other specifications of K20 so if someone's priority was display Obviously Redmi Note 7 Pro was great and all but as soon as you put that LCD display side by side or let's say Galaxy A50's AMOLED panel, AMOLED panel looks much better as compared to Redmi Note 7 Pro's display. But Redmi K20 will come with an AMOLED panel, 6.3 inch of AMOLED panel to be precise it comes with 18 watt quick charging as well. 48 megapixel primary camera but there is an interesting thing here Redmi Note 7 Pro comes with IMX586 sensor at the price tag of 14,000 rupees whereas Redmi K20 will come with an IMX582 sensor when we compare these numbers IMX582 sounds like a lower number plus K20 Pro comes with IMX586 sensor so I'm going to assume that uh, 582 sensor is a little bit cut down version of 586 even though it's a 48 megapixel sensor but Redmi K20 is priced at uh, about 20,000 rupees. So if someone's priority is camera, then should they go with Redmi Note 7 Pro, which comes with IMX586 sensor, or should they go with Redmi K20, which comes with IMX582 sensor or AMOLED display? This is going to create a lot of confusion for sure. Uh, as soon as the devices launch in India, I'll make sure to do a dedicated video comparing both these devices. 13 megapixel wide angle lens and an 8 megapixel depth sensor is also present on the Redmi K20. Uh, this camera setup sounds interesting. I'm not sure about the camera sensor though as I mentioned. 4000 mAh battery is like a norm when it comes to Xiaomi devices. Even Redmi 7A now comes with 4000 mAh battery. That's fantastic. It also comes with a 20 megapixel front facing camera, Bluetooth 4.0. Qualcomm True Wireless technology is supported over here and let's talk about the pricing now 6 GB variant with 64 GB of internal storage is priced at about 20,000 rupees in China considering uh, Xiaomi has been very aggressive with the pricing of uh, Redmi series of devices Redmi Note 7 Pro or Redmi Note 7S I'm going to assume that Redmi K20 will be priced at let's say 19,999 rupees but then again if that's the pricing then why should anyone buy the Redmi K20 because the Redmi K20 Pro will start at around 25,000 rupees and Redmi K20 Pro is the flagship product which comes with Snapdragon 855 processor once again 6.3 inches of AMOLED display a headphone jack is retained over here 4000 mAh battery and most importantly 27 watts of quick charging <laughs> that's much better as compared to a quick charge 4.0 charger so that's quite surprising I'm happy to see that particular support Will it come in the box, the charger? Uh, I'm not sure. At least in India, I'm not expecting Xiaomi to provide a quick charger in the box itself considering they want to price it as low as possible. Redmi K20 Pro comes with a similar camera setup, 48 megapixel camera sensor, but with IMX586 sensor, which is also present on Redmi Note 7 Pro, a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor, similar to how it was on Redmi K20 and an eight megapixel camera, but this time, it's a telephoto lens which will be used for most probably portrait shots to get better portraits basically. 20 megapixel front facing camera is also present on the Redmi K20 Pro. Now there was a slide where Xiaomi mentioned about all the AI stuff which is present in the phone. <laughs> it was quite surprising. The only thing which is not done by AI is making these smartphones because humans were used to make these smartphones most probably or maybe they used AI as well to make the smartphones, to design the smartphones. I don't know. 
Now, as you're paying extra for the Redmi K20 Pro and it's the flagship product for the Redmi device, it also comes with 960 FPS. Will it be uh, like how it is on Realme 3 Pro or other 960 FPS devices or will it be like how it's on uh, Galaxy S10 Plus? I'll have to check that out as soon as I get the device. I'll post a video about that on my Twitter handle. Follow me over there. Like the link is in the description box below. Now let's talk about another feature, which is uh, dual band, dual antenna GPS support. It will give you much better GPS performance as compared to normal devices. Comparison with normal GPS will come as soon as I get the device. And when it comes to pricing of K20 Pro, this is where things become interesting because Poco F1 started at about 22,000 rupees. Later on, the price was lowered and things like that. But K20 Pro, with Snapdragon 855 processor, 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage will start at about 25,000 rupees. 25,000 rupees for K20 Pro. I mean, considering the specs, I have no complaints. But what about Poco F2? Considering that was launched for 22,000 rupees, I am expecting Poco F2 to launch at, let's say, 24,000 rupees, maybe 2,000 rupees hike. Or will the K20 Pro be the Poco F2 and they will price it a little bit lower in India considering Poco F1 was so much popular and people are waiting for Poco F2. That's totally possible as well. I am personally assuming that K20 Pro will launch as Poco F2 because Xiaomi don't want to compete against their own brand, right? If K20 Pro comes to India, at the price of 25,000 rupees and then later on Poco releases Poco F2 at the price of 24,000 rupees or same pricing then it's like Poco F2 competing against K20 Pro. They don't want that to happen. So I'm going to assume that K20 Pro will be launched at Poco F2. What do you think? Do let me know about that in the comment section box below or vote about that in the poll which is present over here. And that's much it for the K20 Pro. Do I have anything else to say? Yes, uh, the 27 watt charger will charge the device from 0% to 100% in just 73 minutes meaning in one hour you can get 200 percent if your device is at let's say 10 percent or 20 percent now let's talk about the next device redmi book 14. this gets a lot of people excited xiaomi laptop priced so aggressively i5 8th generation processor with 256 gb of ssd and 4 gb of ram will come at a price tag of 40,000 rupees same laptop with i7 8th generation, 512GB of SSD and 8GB of RAM will come at a price tag of 50,000 rupees and many people will get excited. Oh my God, so good pricing. But let me tell you, a similar Lino laptop is present at the price tag of 40,000 rupees with i5 8th generation, 8GB of RAM, 1TB of hard disk. Uh, but there are few things which are better in this device. By the way, that Lenovo laptop can be bought for about 36,000 rupees in a Flipkart sale whenever Flipkart launches that sale. So that's something to note. But as soon as you look at other specs of these laptops, they have surely a bigger advantage. Full HD display at the price of 40,000 rupees. Very few devices provide that with i5 8th generation processor plus mx250 graphics card as compared to mx150 which is present on the lenovo meaning gaming performance will obviously be better on the xiaomi laptops pubg emulator will remain the same do not play pubg mobile game on emulator play pubg pc on a pc or laptop i just wanted to get it out there by the way uh, pricing looks fantastic will it come to india will the laptops come to india I don't think so because uh, when you are planning to launch a laptop, you will have to launch service centers. You will have to make sure that uh, those laptops can be serviced nationwide. You will have to make sure that you have all the components uh, considering Xiaomi has not done that for past few years. I'm not expecting them to do that in 2019 uh, considering mobile business and TV business is already doing so well for them. If they do, it will be fantastic. The last product for this video is going to be the Redmi 7A. Redmi 5A most sold phone in entire world. I mean, I was surprised uh, for that particular year. Redmi 6A, one of the most sold phones for India at least. And Redmi 7A most probably will be the next phone which will be sold in the largest number. That device comes with 4000 mAh battery. This time finally it comes with a Snapdragon 439 processor. This is a new processor which will be launching Octa-Core processor obviously. So it will be interesting to see how the phone performs. I'm going to expect with the Snapdragon 450 processor it was very good. So 439 should be close to four, uh, Snapdragon 450. 4000 mAh battery obviously and uh, you also get a 5.5 inch HD display not a full HD display. Considering this device will be priced at about 6,000 rupees, 5999. This is the final pricing I'm going to go with Redmi 7A. 
priced at 6000 rupees if you think that the pricing will be different do let me know about that in the comment section box below and i guess that's about it for these devices what are your thoughts are you excited for redmi k20 will you buy the redmi k20 over redmi note 7 pro just because it comes with amoled panel or uh, just because it comes with a fancier design or will you go with redmi note 7 pro and save like 5 6000 rupees k20 pro seems interesting poco f2 i am confused as well रेडमी सेवन है वैसे भी बिकने ही वाला है बोल के क्या फायदा मतलब लोग तो लेंगे ही सस्ता फोन चाहिए सस्ते में अच्छा मिल रहा है रेडमी सेवन ए के साथ तो लैपटॉप आएंगे नहीं होप छोड़ दो कमेंट्स में पूछो भी मत नहीं आएगा एंड आई गेस दैट नो चिट लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी मोर ऑफ मी मी टॉकिंग अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी रिव्यूइंग डिवाइसेस और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ हुएवर इज इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस प्रोडक्ट्स थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग